I saw some of the clips from the interview on the Pivot podcast with Funny Marco. And I had to come and talk about these because he said something that just made me go, wow. Because it was so simple, but it was so, it just resonated so much. They asked him what was the worst job he ever had. And he told them the worst job I ever had was working. (laughs) Yeah, right. Okay, now that I am finally getting um, some analytics back, um, I'm sitting up here this morning and I'm kind of like, I'm a little overwhelmed because I don't know how, I don't know who, but um, the album is being played. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but... Yeah, the fact that people are like really like reaching out and like extending, you know, it's crazy. It's too early in the morning for me to really burst with emotion the way I want to. If it's something that you really want to do, that's a goal, like do that shit. I'm so serious. If there's any regret right now in this moment that I can think of, it's not believing in myself sooner. Yeah. But the journey is the journey. But yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at the deer. Hey, I see y'all. Hey. You can't really see it. Hello, little baby deer. Don't leave. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the Stanley Cup thing. At first, I thought they was talking about, you know, the Stanley Cup. Like, you know, when you win the thing and you get the Stanley Cup. Ain't that what it is? But I found out they talking about a cup that you buy at the store. And I'm just like, what's, I mean, like, what's the big deal about the cup? I don't get it. It keep your stuff hot and cold for a long time. I mean, like, what does it do? It got a alarm on it? Do it let you know? Like, do it tell you how much water intake you got in your body or something like I mean, somebody t- tell me. What y'all, do y'all know something I don't know? Because I know they ain't doing all this behind just no cup. Hey, y'all. Come with me to a new restaurant. And let's review the food. I'm excited because this restaurant just opened. The name of it is Tacos and Tequila Mexican Grill. Now, when you first walk up, it has a nice little vibe outside. They have games. They have like these chairs and stuff you can sit at. They have fire pits and like little areas where you can sit amongst your people and just chill and vibe. Of course, it was way too cold to do that today, so we'll have to come back on a warmer day. Now, this patio area was on the side, um, and they do rent this out. So if you want to have a dinner there, you can rent that out, which I thought is cute. On the inside, it's very modern um clean i like the color palette that they used in the restaurant up top i like how it looks kind of industrial but modern and clean and sleek it really was a vibe inside i'm not lying like i really wanted to take some pictures but i didn't want to be awkward so i'm about to sit down child and look at this menu i like this menu because it was straight to the point now let's talk about these chips talk about fresh and light and crispy they wasn't thick they wasn't chewy they were perfect you could tell they were fresh and they made them that day now we're gonna get our appetizer we're gonna get this tnt cheese dip 
and it has steak shrimp and chicken in it and when i tell you this dip was so good the grill flavor in the dip oh my goodness it was off the chain I usually, when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I don't do a lot of chips and dips in the beginning because I usually don't like to get full because I love Mexican food and I really be wanting to eat my dinner and I don't want to get full on the chips and dip, but honey, I had to dig into the dip. Now the salsa was already good with the chips, but when they brought that um, appetizer out, with that smoky steak flavor, I knew I was going to order something on the menu that had steak. That's how good that dip was. I'm not lying. You can taste like that grill taste. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Now, as you can see, I was already talking about that smoky flavor from that steak in that dip. After the first bite, I was sold. The chips was already good. So I'm just like, oh my goodness. This dip was everything. And the dip was thick. It wasn't runny. Like, you could tell that they use quality ingredients in their food. Because that cheese, everything, it was just so good. I'm not even going to front. Baby, I kept picking them chips up. The food was busting. I was so focused. I was up there like, gone. Now it's time for me to pick my food, child. Now I'm going to get this burrito supreme. But like I told y'all, we getting steak. Because that grilled steak is off the chain over here. Now I was excited to get this burrito. And I was very surprised that it wasn't like one of those big old, big old fat burritos. It was a nice quality burrito. I'm not lying. It was so good, y'all. I'm not even hyping this up. Now, I really didn't get into that rice too much. But, honey, that steak burrito and them refried beans with the cheese on there. <laughs> Tore it up. And listen, the sauce on top of the burrito was so good child i ain't even have to use none of that sour cream i didn't even want none of the sour cream. i don't even think i ate any of that sour cream child that's how good that sauce was on top of that burrito then that red sauce was flavorful it had like a little backdrop of spice but it wasn't too much i'm telling y'all this restaurant was so good i want to go back like soon because I usually don't even eat all my food when I go out to eat. Because, you know, I think because in my family we go to restaurants a lot, I'm not normally impressed with restaurant food. Like, and on top of that, I'm born and raised in Louisiana. So a lot of people just can't cook to me. So, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry, not sorry, but, you know, that's just the facts. Now, as you can see, I told that whole burrito up, honey. And them beans, honey. Now, like I said, I ain't really play with that rice. Now, let's get into these churros, because this is another thing that I feel like they made from scratch. Baby, them churros were so good. I'm telling y'all, I do not eat this much inside of a restaurant. Half of the time, I usually have to take my dessert home. But honey, these churros was so good. And they had a chocolate sauce and a caramel sauce on top. And they had whipped cream in the middle. You talking about what's good? Child. Then we stopped that crumble cookie when we left. Because you know, the, the kid had to get his cookies. He loved them uh, raw cookies, child. Because they sure be tasting raw to me. But y'all let me know. So he got his cookies, child. And we finna go home. Thank y'all for watching the video. And I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Peace out.